<laughs> Welcome everybody to the Weekly Planet's Caravan of Garbage where we sort through the pop culture detritus of the past mm. to find some hidden gems, but probably not. Who's to say? <laughs> Who who's, is to say? Who's yeah. to say? Yeah. I'm to say this week, I've started reading 1972's Luke Cage, Hero for Hire. This is ro- this is the headband tiara era yes, Luke it Cage, is. isn't yes, it? Yes, it is. This is a man, he's not as complicated a, a man. He's a detective, he's a strong man. Yep. He's a man, he's a man with a lot of principles, but um, the, the issues I want to talk about are issues eight and nine, mm. where he's sort of dives headlong into the weirdness that is the Marvel Universe, right? And it sort of opens up... He's, he's, he's mad. <laughs> Not mad. What do you mean? He's, no, he's, he's, he's angry. Oh, he's, he's angry. He's smashing, oh, wow. He's smashing up his desk because, you know what? Being a hero for hire is not pla- paying the bills. Oh, no. I mean, primarily because he gets in Maybe there... Maybe he could have sold that desk instead yeah. of smashing it. <laughs> primarily because what he does, he takes the case, yeah. he beats the bad guy, he saves the damsel in distress, distress, and then he's just like, I don't want your money. So ultimately... <laughs> Like it's, it's nice of him, I it guess. It is nice of him. So this time around, he's like, you know what? I'm going to do something that does pay the bills. Yeah. So a, a man comes to him, a very fancily dressed gentleman, besuited, mustachioed, and he's like, I can, I, I've can, i got something for you that'll make you a rich man, Luke right. Cage. And he's like, all right, fine. I'll, I'll take care of some Desk business. Desk smashing. Yes. <laughs> but no, he's like, and he's like, okay, well, look, I'll take care of some 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 smashing up some hoodlum business. Right. And then I'll, I'll talk to you later, whatever. Yeah, and yeah. then he's like, okay, Luke Cage, I'm going to pay you. My employer mm. has had some industrial secrets stolen from him and he'll, we'll pay you $200 a day oh, wow. to, which is a lot of money in 1972. Absolutely. That's like $4,100 million today, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. That, isn't it? Yeah. And American. Yeah, that's right. So it's huge. But so he's like, okay, I've, I've heard there, I've heard there in this part of the city, use your, use your skills kind of track him down and he's like okay there's a, there's a sweet montage where he he goes to a bar he goes to a taxi cab driver he goes to a a, a newsstand where they're selling the pornos he's, he goes and, he, and he's and he, he's you know tracking is there him a down. porno stand look it's a newsstand right one of the magazines just says sex on it <laughs> That's all, I'm, that's all I'm saying. Maybe it's Essex magazine. I'm on the, 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 the city of Essex. <laughs> yeah. yeah absolutely. But then he's like alright he finds he finds his warehouse in Bed-Stuy right. and he's like alright let's Get into this, and he kicks down the door. Easy, two hundred bucks. You know, he's done, he's done this all in like a couple of hours. Do one job, retire. Exactly, bucks, right? Mate. And then he gets in there, but then it turns out these guys are much more resilient than he expected them to be, right? You're talking bulletproof, punch proof. What are they're, we talking? They're, they're they're punch proof. He's punching them away away at him, and he's they're just they just they're taking the punches. Right. So at this point, Cage is like, okay, got to give it. 110%. Give it a little bit of the old Luke Cage juice sure. and he just punches his head right off. But as comic book luck would have it, the one time you go to punch a guy's head right off turns out to be a robot. Oh, thank God. And he's surprised and they, they make a run for it. Are they like, all robots? I guess they're all robots. Well, I must be, right? Yeah. So he's like, he's kind of stunned. Yeah. And instead of giving chase, he's like, this the guy who offered me $200 a day, mm. like he kind of... He's kind of ripped me off here, so I'm going to track him down. Right. Right? So he's, he uses some more detective skills. Yeah, he does. And it turns out he's at an embassy of right. some sort, right? Yeah. And, and there's, a, there's, a fancy, there's a fancy state dinner happening. So Cage busts in on there, right? He busts in on the fancy... Is he dressed for the occasion? He's Is wearing he... an open-fronted yellow blouse. Well, that's a And 70s. a tiara. <laughs> yeah, sure. And some wristbands. Anyway, he gets there and he discovers that this guy's dressed as some sort of... Maybe some sort of colonel's uniform of some weird Eastern European military. Right, right. And he's like, there he is. I'm going to get him. And he leaps on him. All of a sudden, who appears but the head of this weird Eastern European country? The Eastern European country of Latveria. <gasps> it's Dr. Doom. This is a Doom story. This is a Doom story. Twist. Well, I guess yeah. that explains the robots. Yeah, right? My goodness. But see, the thing, and, and Doom's like, come on, Cage. This was going to happen eventually. Like, you got your powers. Yeah, yeah. Weird stuff's going to happen eventually. <laughs> so th- this is the first time that he's kind of, like, he stepped into the wider Marvel yes, universe. Yes, it is, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's kind of great. I know, right? Yeah. It's really good. It's really good. <laughs> well, I mean, it's kind of, it's pretty good, but also it turns out Doom's kind of racist because he's like, because <laughs> he's like, okay, I built these robots. Right. And they stole my secrets mm. and they and they disguise themselves as African-American guys and mm-hmm. they, they escape to America. Right. But I don't. I didn't have, I don't, there's no black people in, in Latveria. So I needed to hire a black. <laughs> what? To, to, so I hired you to track them down. But don't worry, he's like, don't worry, Luke Cage. They're in, they're in this different weird warehouse, right? So is Doom a bad guy in this? Well, who's he's to just say? Getting, he's getting something done. It seems like he's just a, 
just a honest businessman, Seems doesn't it? <laughs> yes. Right? He's like, all right, cool. Let's go to this other abandoned warehouse. I'll, I'll track these guys down. I'll get them, right? Mm. And so he gets in there and there's some sweet brawls. And he just smashes them all to pieces. Love right? it. And then he comes back mm. and he's like, finally, I've done a job. Like, I wasn't, my heart wasn't in it. Let's, let's get paid. And then a bellhop shows up and he's like, you know, Dr. Doom doesn't pay any money if he doesn't have to. While you were away, he just left. He went on the run. <laughs> he Donald Trumped you. He decided he didn't want to pay you, so he just took off. And he's like, like a couple of hundred yeah. bucks. And so a shirtless Luke Cage is like, that's how you play it, Doom. You motherless son of a witch. Classic, <laughs> classic, classic G-rated swearing. And his mother is a witch that's as well. That's right. Good work. You'll find out how Luke Cage plays it. I'm coming for you, Doom. Luke Cage is going to nail it to the wall. Love it. End, end of the issue, right? Hey, you just settled in watching this thing. Well, we're too late. Here's an ad. <laughs> You gotta watch the ad. <laughs> this series of Caravan of Garbage is brought to you by Loot Crate. I mean Loot Crate, but I say Loot Crate. <laughs> Just regular Loot Crate. It's a subscription box of geeky items for cool dudes. Like me. And me! You can't see me, but trust me, I'm cool. Anyway, uh, go to lootcrate.com slash weeklyplanet for $3 off any box. That's right. Mm -hmm. How many items, Mason? Oh, six to eight. I say six to eight. And they agree with me. Huh. Oh, I'm with it. All right. Now we open up ep issue nine. Right. It's Luke Cage fighting the Fantastic Four. He's broken into the Fantastic Fours. He's just just punching on, just mate. punching on with all with all the classic Fantastic Four members: Mister Fantastic, Human Torch, The Thing, Medusa. Where's the Invisible Woman? Who's to say? Yeah, that might have been. They were always having problems, weren't yeah. they? Their relationship is yeah, rocky at best. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> So anyway, so they're, they're just punching on for a bit. Yeah. Because apparently the thing assumed he was a burglar. That's... Ooh. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> it's problematic. <laughs> but anyway, he's like, hey, listen, I'm here because I'm going to give some grief to Dr. Doom. Okay. And Reed Richards is like, oh, the, the Dr. Doom? And no. He's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so Reed Richards is like, oh, yes, Luke Cage, I've heard of you. You seem like a nice fellow. I will give you... Some sort of rocket ship to take you to Latveria. <laughs> Which, Not... this is classic, I feel, Mr. Fantastic being a dick for no reason. Yes. <laughs> Starting with the very first moment he gained his powers where he's like, you know what, I'm Mr. Fantastic. That's right. At this point, he's like, you know what, this guy I've heard of a couple of times could very well be horribly killed or tortured or worse by Dr. Doom if I send him over, but this will give Dr. Doom some grief for a brief amount of time, and that fills me with joy. So here you go. Here's a, here's a rocket ship of some sort pre-programmed to go to Latveria. <laughs> and once you've been horribly killed, maimed, tortured, I'm just going to drive past the fantastic car and give Dr. Doom the finger. <laughs> How do you like that? I love it. Yeah, it's good, right? So anyway, Cage gets in the ship, yep. flies over to Latveria. First thing he encounters, gigantic holographic image of Dr. Doom. It's like, stay out of my country. Because that's, that's apparently his thing. Wait, is that specific to him or is it a recording? It's a recording. Okay. Is it just for black people? Well, <laughs> he busts his way through some uh, like Latverian guardsmen who are like, who's this guy? But Reed Richards must have been scraping the bottom of the barrel for this 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 dude. And, and he's like, shut up. And he beats them all up, which is pretty good. And then, then, then more reinforcements show up, and then all of a sudden, yeah, more robots. Oh, no. Robots show up. Are they good robots? Well, they they help they help Cage beat back all these bad. You know, are they the same robots that he destroyed earlier? They're they're the same family. The the robots uh, help out Cage. Yeah, and then they're like, we'll bring you to our master, who's an alien, because it's the seventies. <laughs> sure. And then he was like, I'm fomenting a revolt against Doctor Doom. Bloody, go and fight Doom, because that we'll get you in there. And he's like, all right, I'll I'll do it. I do want my money. <laughs> and then they smash their way and they fight their way into Doom's castle. Mm -hmm. Doom start. Nice. Which leads to what I think is one of the best comic panels in comic book history, mm -hmm. which is he busts his way into the throne room. Doom is there. And we see, quote, quote, Dr. Doom, Victor Von Doom, when my men reported a crazy black man in the Fantastic Force craft, I knew it had to be you. Quote, Luke Cage, where's my money, honey? <laughs> And he's like, what? You mean the money I owed you for tracking down my robots? You came here all the way here for that? A paltry $200? You are crazy. And then we, we 
there's a fight. Yeah, of course there is. Yeah. <laughs> this point that we see, we see the str- like we kind of see the strength of character of Luke Cage. Mm. It's like it's not the point. Yeah. Like it's it's a fight and it's kind of a sermon on like this is what you get when you mess with yeah. Luke Cage. Don't be a bad yeah, bloke. I'd be here for ten dollars. I'd be here for ten thousand dollars. Yeah. You don't get anywhere if you let people walk over you. Mm. You are not going to walk over me. Nice. And he kind he gets in there and he hits a weak point on Doom's armor mm. and he realizes that that's like. That's that's the weak spot, and he just keeps hammering away at him until he breaks the armor completely. Like, well, he, you know, he, he shuts it all down, sure, kind yeah, of yeah. thing. And then the faceless one, mm. the the robot master, who's, right. who's yeah, an alien, yeah. he shows up and he's like, "You're weak, Doom. I'm gonna I'm gonna kill you now." And then Luke Cage is like, "He's up. No, it's not what we're here for either." <laughs> And then he fights him. Right. He fights everybody. I thought we all agreed that we're all doing this for 200 bucks, which I'm keeping. Right. I thought we all agreed on he that. He fights him, and then he's like, get yourself out of here, kind of. And the faceless one is forced to f- flee. And Doom is like, look, I respect you yep. now. And he just peels off $200 <laughs> cash American from his, from his billfold. And he's like, get yourself a new desk, mate. You did it. Exactly. <laughs> That's right. And all was right with the world. Wow. I know, right? What well, a journey. I would watch the hell out of that movie. Right? Like Luke Cage's payback. Yes. Well, I'm glad you brought I'm glad you brought this this week, Mason. Would you recommend this to people? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Start at the start. I had a good old time. I wish it was worse. <laughs> yeah, sure. Right? Anyway, I think that wraps up this season of Caravan of Courage, Mason. Ooh. Caravan of Garbage, Mason. I know <laughs> what this is called. Good. You don't need to remind me. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, look, if you liked any of these, you know we're happy to come back and do some more. A little yeah, bit down the absolutely. track. We appreciate if you, you listening. Hated it. Give it, give it yourself. <laughs> give it yourself. I don't need to hear our egos are very fragile. That's Why do right. we even put ourselves out here in the first place? I don't, I don't even know. Uh, you can find us at the week on the Weekly Planet podcast every Monday. Oh, yeah. You can find me at Mr Sunday Movies. Uh, you can find me at Wikipedia Brown on Twitter. Fantastic. Mm-hmm. Thanks for listening, guys. Grab that gem, you guys. We'll see you. See you later. A different time. Yeah.